Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still hoping Chris Christie continues to pressure Donald Trump into joining the debate so we can see Trump's double depends pushed to their limits while orange spray tan drips down his sweet potato head like a box of his disheveled, disgraced attorney's hair dye. Biden is putting signs around America that have infuriated the select few MAGA that can read. Defeated former President Donald Trump's Twitter account is now in the hands of Jack Smith. Dark Brandon continues to create jobs while conservatives are celebrating people losing theirs. I'll be getting to all of that and more, but first this. Jack Smith, truth is coming for you and the things you never thought that people would find out about you. I have whistleblowers that will wipe out this indictment and boomerang back to you. These are the days of Haman, and many people are about to find out who are the Hamans, and who and what are their final outcome is about to be. This lunatic pretends she has God on speed dial and that she is speaking the word of God, and nothing she said has ever come true, but her bank account continues to balloon. Have you seen the photos of the devastation in Maui, Julie? Did your God not drop you a line ahead of one of the deadliest U.S. wildfires in recent years? Or does Julie's God only discuss Trump matters with her? It is pouring MAGA tears. There's plenty to cover, so have a laugh, join the good people in the comments while I mock all of the latest and stupid, and more. The guy who uses a key all day but never opens a door tweeted, <coughs> Nothing at all to see here, folks. Naturally, I replied, What a Trump says when they drop their pants. Rudy Giuliani is coming on first. He's gonna, and this is gonna be everybody, this is gonna be, what was Rudy, you know, what was he before this? Oh, gee, he was just a hero. He got rid of all the, all the uh, mafia in New York City and cleaned up New York. And then he was a double hero with 9-11. He was America's mayor. I've heard Rudy Giuliani called a lot of things, but a double hero is not one of them. The only time you hear double with Rudy is when the waiter is bringing him his wet lunch. Double Jack Daniels and Diet Coke. And they're looking at these other Republicans who are... You know, all they're doing is attacking Trump, not talking about policy. You go to their websites, by the way, Steve, all you see is a big red donate button. You go to Trump's website, and what you see there is Agenda 47, the most transformative agenda I've ever seen in all of politics. I don't know what's more ridiculous, the constant filter on Carrie Lake or her saying Trump is all about policy. It's really not hard to fact check this. Contribute, contribute, join the movement, text Trump, shop. Agenda 47 is tucked in there like the turd in Trump's diaper before Eric shows up for the morning change. Court documents reveal special counsel Jack Smith issued a warrant for data and records related to the at real Donald Trump Twitter account on January 17th, 2023. The government also obtained a non-disclosure order which prohibited Twitter from disclosing the existence or contents of the search warrant to any person. Twitter had raised First Amendment concerns about a non-disclosure order issued over the warrant as the company wanted to notify Trump about it. You mean give the sweet potato-headed Dingleberry a heads up so he can nuke the account? Uh, yeah, no. Since Twitter did not fully produce the requested information until three days after a court-ordered deadline, the district court held Twitter in contempt and imposed a $350,000 sanction for the delay. While Donald Trump's tweets are public, the company also holds non-public information on accounts like direct messages, drafts of tweets, location data, and the type of device used to send tweets. Jack Smith has Trump's Twitter account, and as we know, he used it a lot. It was his main method of communication, and it will be an interesting insight as to what was going on behind the scenes during and after the election. Where was he sending these from? Were there any drafts? Did things go through revisions? Anyone on social media knows that you often message people in the DMs. Do you think Trump never sent a message? What device was he using? How many times did he beg Ivanka for pictures? Did everything come from one phone? Did others have access to his account? Did he have a burner phone? I have to stress, this is huge. Having access to all of the data in Trump's account is a big deal, and Trump should be very afraid. 
Next week is Mike Lindell's major event that's not open to the public, and as he says, will be bigger than Heloa from Hawaii, because a pillow manufacturer gone mad has more interest than Elvis. He may reveal some cyber evidence and his plan to take the country back, so I can expect more technological wizardry from the guy confused by basic consumer electronics. Brandon, because I don't about this Roco thing. So I go to my TV tonight, and where do I find Roco? You already have a TV with Roku built in it. So I got to go buy a little Roku box. So Choose that you want to add it to your home screen. And where do I find Roku? It's an icon now on your TV, just like the icons on your computer. So I got to go buy a little Roku box. So Think of your TV as a big, gigantic computer screen. And now you have your frank speech. And where do I find Roku? You say you want to add it to your home screen. You do. It adds it. Now, whenever you go to the home screen of your Roku, TV. So I got to go buy a little Roco box. So you click Frank's speech, boom, it pops up. And where do I find Roco? Thank you. I see every tip that comes through from pennies to dollars. They're hugely appreciated and help make this show possible. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks. Joe Biden is going full dark brand and putting signs up to show voters which infrastructure projects are a result of Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law. This is a part of a push to stop Republicans from taking credit for projects they did not vote for. Now, many are upset by this. They see it as unfair that he's putting signs up because they don't like being exposed. And here's Biden taking a few jabs at Granny Bobo. Like in Colorado, where CS Wind broke ground on what will be the world's largest wind tower manufacturing plant. And coincidentally, CS Wind is Congresswoman Lauren Boebert, you know, that very quiet Republican lady. It's in her district, who, along with every other Republican, voted against this bill. And it's making all this possible. And she railed against its passage. But that's okay, she's welcoming it now. She's very loud and very stupid. Yes, it is the world's largest wind turbine plant, and it has led to the hiring of 850 new employees with the first phase completed by summer 2024. And it's not just the jobs on the site, it's the thousands of pounds of steel and other materials used to produce the thousands of turbines this facility will create every year. Remember, Lauren had nothing to do with this. She didn't even want it in the first place. Lauren is against jobs. She is. She cheered on Budweiser's declining sales with multiple tweets. Unfortunately, Anheuser-Busch laid off 400 employees or about 2% of its workforce as part of a restructuring. The brewery said most of the positions were in marketing and the R Dog Group, a major glass producer who contracts with the Anheuser-Busch company that will be closing plants in North Carolina and Louisiana, putting roughly 645 employees out of a job. Congratulations, MAGA. You've ended the paychecks for a bunch of blue-collar workers because you could not handle one can with the trans person's image on it. This is not Bud Light's fault. It's your fault. You chose not to drink your favorite beer because they backed someone that terrifies you. One can. Bobert, Ron DeSantis, Kid Rock, Marjorie Taylor Greene, the Trumps, and constant criticism from the folks over at the Entertainment Channel for Married Cousins made this happen. They hammered Bud Light and encouraged the boycott. They put these people out of jobs and put a Mexican lager as the top beer. Such patriots. There's just so much stupidity going on, and that's why Seth Weathers needs a mention. Seth served as Donald Trump's 2016 Georgia campaign director. He is the CEO of Freedom Speaks Up that sells a lot of Let's Go Brandon merch, and he's the guy behind the ultra-right beer. When many first saw images of this beer, they thought it was a joke. It's not, but the people buying it are. The original brewer contacted to make this conservative piss water backed out after they discovered Seth Weather's plan, but Seth did find another brewer. America's been drinking beer from a company that doesn't even know which restroom to use. That's why we made Conservative Dad's ultra-right, 100% woke-free American beer. If you know which restroom to use, you know what beer you should be drinking. Stop giving money to companies who hate our values. Yeah, so if you want to own the libs, you need to pay $19.99 for a six-pack that will ship in a month after you order it. Can't wait to drink that ready-to-burst warm brew that's had a shaky journey to your doorstep. Well, an old tweet from this anti-woke beer maker from 2017 notes, Are you anti-LGBT? If so, 
it's you in the wrong side of history. So either he changed or pretended to change when he saw dollar signs from the window lickers foaming at the mouth. Good, good. I'm here to, to guarantee Trump gets back in and get rid of the corruption that's in the White House right now. It's a disgrace. He's a just Joe Biden's a disgrace to this country. He's a disgrace, and so are all the uh, so the left and the uh, rhinos, you know the globalists. Of them. They jail them all. Yeah. <laughs> jail them all. I agree with you on that. Wow. Well, as alarming as this is, and it is alarming since these people are packing heat, I'd even say that they're armed to the teeth, but clearly he's all gums. These people are terrorists. They are the American Taliban, and their beliefs spill into the empty heads of dum-dums around the world. The thing to remember is that as creepy and crazy as these folks are, the pen is mightier than the sword. Brains will always defeat brawn. I could not get an update from the bunker this week, but Donald Trump did crash another wedding at Bedminster. Unfortunately, it was inaudible, but thanks to our Soros technology, I've cleaned it up. Come on, touch me. More. You know I've been married three times. You look kind of hot. I got this. And you must be the groom. You know you have to go to Bound Town tonight to seal the deal. She's a solid six. Well, I have no idea who these people are, but I have a spy cam in the bridal suite, so I'm going to patch in and have a huge session to you tonight. You know what I mean, honey? Okay? I think he gets it. He gets it. Totally tugging the mushroom. Ron was a Navy SEAL. Show him some respect, fool. <laughs> Mega tears. Surprised this fruit isn't handing out Barbie tickets for the pink sheep Bob buying over this woke trash pretending to be comedy. Grow some hair, bud. Mega tears. If you start praying now, you may have a chance at forgiveness. God knows all, Tommy. Mega tears. Biden weaponized the FBI. What will you say when the come after you and me? Won't be laughing then, will you? Wake up. Mega tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by joining us in the comments, sharing this video with a friend, and following me on social media. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. Please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, and I've toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years. I have three albums and a brand new EP from my opening set on Jim's latest Netflix special. You can stream these on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for helping me make this show possible. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.